So good morning, everybody. Um, the house is getting a little crowded, so it's, it's getting a little uh, more of a challenge to find that uh, hideaway place so I can do my, my videos in quiet. So you may hear some noise in the background as there's dancing going on in one place, movie watching in another, reading and uh, playing in another, and yeah, there's people everywhere. <laughs> so I'm hiding in the basement right now. Hopefully nobody can find me. So uh, we're reading through um, Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, it's called, and, and, and we all know who, those of us who've been reading this through uh, many years now, that uh, it uh, should have been called the Acts of, of the Spirit, because um, the, the Apostles only did what they did because of the Spirit. So we're reading through uh, chapter 1, 2, and 3. And and what really stood out for me, and probably because of a lot of things that are going on, and, and I have some concern right now about um, some of the behaviors that we're seeing in the church for, for political reasons. And, um, and and as I read this, what, what, what I read is the, the outpouring that is happening um, as with believers, as, as they are coming together. As, as these people are, are forming something that's new and they don't know what this is about. It's just, it's happening. It's new. And, uh, yeah. And, and, and all they know is this wonderful thing has happened. And, uh, and they, they've, they've received, um, the invitation of Jesus. Um, they've, they've received, they've, they've believed, they've received, um, uh, and, and, uh, they've received the Holy Spirit and there's a unity that happens and they're, and they're brought together. And, and when we look at the behavior, we see it's these things that they did together. It was about being together. Um, yeah, they, they, uh, they just, they enjoyed hanging out together. They, they ate in each other's homes. They, they went to the temple together uh, to praise the Lord. Um, they, they sacrificed for each other. They, they would sell things. If somebody needed something, they would go out and sell so that that money was available to, to help those people. They had everything in common, uh, and that's what unity does. And, and it, it was this thing where this, it just this fantastic, wonderful thing that happened that, that they realized they had this in common. They had this experience in common. Um, they were in love with the same king. Um, that king did the same thing for all of them. And, uh, and, and one of the things that they were doing is that they were showing kindness to the unbelievers around them. And they didn't need to be told. It didn't have to be hammered into them that they needed to be united. This was a natural byproduct of their experience of what has happened. That they were just united. Uh, disunity happens with disagreements and it, it comes later on uh, when people go, they move away from the, the innocence of, of the relationship and, and then they start trying to get into the management of things. That's, that's, where, that's where you get into a lot of troubles when you start managing things. Um, and it, 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 but in this moment, this is a pure moment. This is a garden moment that, that they're having here. And unity is just natural for them. Um, show showing kind, sh so is showing kindness. Kindness to unbelievers. It's just an amazing thing. Um, where they're able to uh, just pour out love uh, to people. Uh, to, to extend that, that love to people. Uh, it didn't come with any... Uh, any attachments or, or anything with it. It wasn't a matter of, um, if you think like me, I'll be kind to you. Or if you do what I do, I'll be kind to you. Um, if if uh, you support the same politician, I'll be kind to you. Uh, if you go to the same church as me, I'll be kind to you. It, it had nothing like that whatsoever. It's just uh, it's just an outpouring, a natural outpouring of, of love. Because, because God loves me, because God loves me, I am now capable of love. It's been demonstrated to me what this is. Now I'm capable of doing this. And it was just done. Man, we've had we've had centuries, centuries and centuries and centuries of of um, normalizing this, of um, religiousizing it, 
uh, turning it into a uh, a form without substance. Uh, we 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 have all the pretty words. We can say all all those things, and man, some people can say it so well. Um, people have memorized certain s scriptures, um, but it's like what the Jesus said to the Pharisees, like, man, you guys take this so seriously that you you tithe, you tithe your spices, you know, but yet you you've forgotten the essence of what the law taught. You've you've forgotten mercy. You've forgotten compassion. And, and this is, he says, you, you should have done that as well as what you're doing with your spices. But don't forget the more weightier things, the more important things. And I, and I think that sometimes where we are with the church right now is that we have uh, spent so much time on the insignificant that we're, we're missing out on the weightier things of compassion, of mercy, of grace, of love. Uh, we forget that our life is supposed to be these pillars of peace and of joy. And, um, and, and we're running after control and power. And um, yeah, that's not what the kingdom is about at all. Not at all. Anyway, some, some, every time we read through this, that we, we get hit by, by the innocence of the, the, the first church, uh, of the, the beginning of the church. And we often think, man, I, I, I like to get back there. But there's a cost to it. There is. Uh, it's called humility. Um, setting aside your plans and, and your thoughts and just aligning yourself with Father. And, and that's that whole saying, no to yourself, taking up your cross and following Jesus. Yeah, according to him, not according to us. Just leave it there. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day.